All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this great Friday. I'm finishing out the first week of December on today. So uh looks like another fun morning here. Hopefully everybody took care of yesterday. Yesterday was a nice little decent day. I'll be honest with you, I'm I'm not that excited of this week. I, I December is a great week, uh, a great month to learn. We had a couple of good winners and stuff like that, but I was just talking to Josh this morning. I'm like, you know what? Wasn't as good as September and October and November. But I always told you this for some of you that found us and been around, you know, going back into July or March or April. I said the best four months to trade is September, October, and November. I'm sorry, three months. December, things are going to start to slow down. Uh, people have to close out certain positions, you know, get their yearly taxes done, and they got to do it within 30 days. It's this whole rule that goes to institution stuff. Um, you got the vaccine that's coming out, but we're still getting some action. We got a great move in this right now. Some of you guys did really well with this PPSI. You could see the stock right at the gate this morning, went from 360 straight up to $5. Let me just fix that so you guys can see a little bit better on that on YouTube. Um, but stock has got a really nice push. A lot of you remember that we traded this stock back in October. It ran from two to nine dollars. Actually, it went from three. It was a gap up. Beautiful stock, building a nice little Fausto flag. Gonna keep a close eye on it. Looks like a fun stock to watch. All right. But um, but there were a couple of stocks, but before we do that, I'd like to talk about what's going on, uh, what we traded yesterday and what happened. Just want to bring up a couple of stocks. Uh, first of all, airlines. Okay, airlines, 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 okay? Uh, cruise stocks did not come out with good news today, would you think? And they're doing well. They came out with news that they said they basically canceled out all their cruises, I think they said, till 2021. And they're still doing well. They're still doing well. Um, I mean, you'd think that would, like, get the this, this stock to go back to, like, 16 or back to 13. Like Carnival Cruise Lines. No, they, they stocks have been on a great, great run up. They're doing great. I told you I've been a big fan. And this is a long-term play for next year. Okay. But, you know, I, I think people have to start to realize that if someone showed you 9% on your money, you'd be like ecstatic. You're like, 9%? That's like unheard of. My bank doesn't even give me 1%. But if you if you were here and I told you, listen, airlines are not going anywhere. Okay, they got beat up. There's an opportunity, and you know, I know we had some great winners due to the coronavirus. Huge winners. All these, you know, online shopping uh, companies, Wayfair, you know, uh, uh, Overstock. I mean, like, uh, what else they had there? Square. I'm looking down the list. I mean, Chewy. All these stocks. Disney. They all did great, but. You know, airlines, obviously, they're the ones that got hit the impact the most because no one's flying. I said, wait till next year. So, you know, if you double you, my point is this, the 9%, the 1%, the 100%. If I said you could make 100% of your money, you know, and, uh, you know, in Delta, guess what? You did it. And I wasn't even expecting to go this high. I was thinking about hopefully it was going to go, you know, um, maybe next year it was going to get there. It actually got there sooner than later. So I'm always a big fan of airlines, Okay. Uh, unless the whole new, the, the true Green New Deal comes into fruition and they got rid of planes, then definitely it's a it's a great short, okay? But I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon, all right? Um, because even the people with the Green New Deal still fly planes, so I don't think they're going anywhere. That's really our, 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 our transport. Until we can make these planes electric, they're not going anywhere, all right? So they're making a big recovery. The only reason why I got hurt is because... Nobody's flying. And with cruise stocks, don't forget what happened. I told you this before. Don't forget what happened. Remember when people got stuck on these cruises and got like, they couldn't go anywhere and they were stranded. And it was that, that, I, I can't wait to watch till somebody does a movie about this. It was going to be, or a documentary on it. But um, it, it's, 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 it's fascinating how quick we can kind of forget. But they're going to come back. Because I said this yesterday. Who here could raise their hand and say, I need a vacation? But now with this whole pandemic and they say it's going to be, you know, going to the second wave, trust me, I'll be the first one uh, jumping on board. And the vaccine is right around the corner. And we saw what happened with Mendora. All these stock, all these companies did phenomenal. And you know what? Even if you chased it, you still killed it. Anyway, let's talk about some of the stocks because some of them are doing pretty well. 
Um, I've been a big fan of Riot. I'm, I have the swing trade on Riot. I, I still wish I still had my shares around three fifty four dollars. But uh, Bitcoin is doing great, and uh, you can see the stocks going up. You know, someone told me something, and I got to look into this if this is really true. I guess some of us still think Bitcoin is, you know, don't even know what it is. Like, still, like, it, it still hasn't really sunk in. But someone told me that, which is pretty interesting. I don't know if you guys heard this, but you know how currencies are like a disaster? Like, for example, who's here from Canada? I know we have a bunch of Canadians here, right? So, unfortunately for Canada, your currency is it took a huge hit compared to the U.S. dollar. So, let's say you wanted to, you know, put a dollar. What, what's 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 the currency, by the way? Can anybody tell me what's the currency of? Because uh, I don't really follow the currency, but the U.S. dollar to uh, the Canadian dollar it was like a dollar thirty or something like that. What is it? I don't know if anybody here could put in the chat or in the general chat. Yeah, to the Canadian dollar. What's the difference from the Canadian dollar to the U.S. dollar? By dollar thirty-three. Okay. Now envision that we're selling something for, let's say, a thousand dollars, and you're like, and you got to pay thirteen hundred. It's a lot of money, right? But if you could buy a cryptocurrency, right? If you could buy a cryptocurrency and say, uh, oh, not crypto. So say you could buy Bitcoin, and say, you know what? You buy a thousand dollars of a cryptocurrency uh, of of a, a Bitcoin, and you know what? And you give it to me for a thousand. It's a wash, so you don't have to worry about that thirty percent um, difference. Now, is that really true? Could you really do that? Because that's the case. Bitcoin is going to destroy. The, that's why I think the, the currency market is really freaking out. What's going on? Because people want to go from Europe to U.S. and they keep, you know, until it gets into the economy. I think that's where it's pretty much coming into. But uh, I, I'm like, you know what? That's like a thirty percent off, right, for you guys. So I don't know if that's really the way it goes, but that's the case. Now I could, I could, could be a very good fan. Uh, no, the government will get into the control coins uh, to, uh, to, to for attacks. Have they done that, Jerry, yet, though? I mean, have they figured that out or caught up to it? I don't even know. But I know that everyone said the you know the Bitcoin, uh, the Bitcoin is like the, the dark, you know, hidden mar market, currency market. They're working up to it. Yeah, right. Okay, keep working. <laughs> Uh, crypto can't be uh, manipulated by the government. Yeah, I agree. I, I, how are they going to stop it? You know, if it, when too many people own it, unless like, unless like, let's say the president of the United States, if it's, you know, President Trump gets elected or he doesn't and or Biden comes in there and gets in, and is elected, comes in there and says, you can no longer trade cryptocurrency in the U.S., then I could see that being a major issue. Okay, major issue. That's the only thing I could see that could possibly happen. But anyway, let's get back to the market, okay? Because I'm here chatting away. We got about five more minutes. Market's opening up soon. And I want to get right into it uh, regarding about some of the stocks. But I really think this is a really good, uh, really good conversation to move forward. So anyway. The reason why we got into this conversation because Riot's doing great. So, I mean, I... You know, as a stock trader, to try to buy Bitcoin, it's just easier to trade Riot. Uh, so we got that one. We got the CNK that did okay yesterday. CNK had a really um, huge crash. Hold on, bring a five-minute chip chart. So that one was just a great, great short. You could see we're from 18 to 13. Guys, don't be afraid to short. Okay, don't be scared. You make more money shorting. I know, I know a girl, uh, a trader, a friend of mine. That's all she does is short. 80% of her trades are short, you know? She didn't do too well after the, the rally we had, but she loves short. I like shorting too. It's just they always say it's not the American dream. That's like an old saying that they would just say. AMC getting hammered. Listen, I don't know how AMC is going to survive, but, you know, I heard they came out with some great news. That's one of the reasons why I stuck from two to five. But um, who's really going to a movie theater these days? Unless they're going to give away free popcorn, free drinks, Free dinner, you know, whatever it is, you know, I, I was just talking to a friend of mine, uh, uh, my brother-in-law, and he refused to go to a, a football game. He's like, why? He goes, to go there, the traffic, this, he goes, with today's TVs and everything, I'd rather just sit down, have a beer on my couch. It's just so much better. You know, it's just TV's just great these days. And you know what? Maybe it's the same thing with movies. That That's also been doing pretty well. All right. The pot stocks also, I think, um, just to let you know, I think that, um, they're coming out. I think I heard on, on, on TV that Nancy Pelosi is going to do a bill right now trying to legalize pot. 
So in the United States, I, don't, I mean, I know it's legal in New Jersey now, but I think they're going to try to do a national uh, legalization and uh, they're going to try to pass a bill on that. I mean, not to know if it's going to pass or not, but listen, watch the pot stocks. You know what I mean? You're favor of it. You're not a favor of it. But as traders, money's money at the end of the day. So keep a close eye on that one, too. All right. Let's talk about what's going on right now. Listen, uh, before I get started, too, and go through the watch list, I just want to congratulate somebody. I think this is the stock, right? Is it LAZR? I think this is the company. Uh, Luminar, te uh, Luminar Technologies. Is this the kid that's 25 years old? I think this is the stock. 25-year-old uh, kid, the first billionaire, first billionaire at 25 years old. Is that, I think it's uh, this stock. Came out some technology, you know, went to Stanford and went public and literally he's killing it. I think this is the kid. 25 years old. That is entrepreneurship at its best. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. But anyway, I got to congratulate. I don't know the kid's name, whatever, but I heard on TV. I'm like, wow, 25 years old billionaire. Shoot, some of us don't even know what to do with a million. Could you imagine being a billion at 25 years old? Uh, God bless America, Jerry. You're definitely right. Listen, at the end of the day, America is very well known for that. And that's why, you know, we, we have the Facebooks, the Twitters, the, the uh, Googles and the Teslas and uh, and LAZRs, you know, on and on and on. And it, I mean, I can go on. I mean, Square, all these great companies. That's what they are. Pinterest, all of them. All right, let's get back to the watch list. Okay, so we got PPSI that's moving this morning. She's doing pretty good this morning. She's starting to make a little bit of a tick up. Um, she hasn't really popped too much since 9 o'clock since we started, but she did go about 15, 20 cents already so far. I like that stock. That's going to be on my watch list. We're going to look watch that closely in the morning. FRSX, another stock that also nice cheap stock, nice spread, nice level one. Guys, listen, buy one stinking share of the stock. Don't be afraid to trade. Buy less and trade more. If you can't buy one share, to you shouldn't even be trading one share. You know what I mean? But here's some cheapies, gorgeous cheapy. Look. $1.55 to $1.70 is a huge iceberg order, by the way, on level four. I was watching right over here. It gets past this 170, which looks like it's going to do it. Um, stock could be a good move. Oh, G, uh, GSM. It was GSM. I dyslexed it. GSM. <laughs> GSM. There you go. So this one also has been having a nice little push right here in the last couple of days. 60 cent stock went up, backed off. You can see on the long term uh, chart right there. Let me get my, you can see it right here. Right there. And then finally it's been on a really nice uptrend. You can see it right there. So um, it's not moving up too much. Volume is pretty decent. It's up 14%. I'll keep a close eye on this one too. I kind of like it. Uh, put on the A list. Let's go on the B list. Now, a lot of these stocks are on the B list. We're on the A list and they fell off. Um, H H G S H is one of them. I saw a really nice gap up on this stock. I don't know what just happened, but she kind of just reversed on us. And let me tell you something, this stock, you know, the way, the way we, we did phase three this week and remember what happened. You would talk about this all the time when the stock breaks a lower low. Okay. It's time to get out. So if you didn't read the writing on the wall at around 460, you know what? You got yourself in big trouble. Another one that made the list, too, on the B list. Was ICON. Now, this stock also, great mover up, great pre-market. Went from $0.90 cents to a buck sixty. Literally almost had a huge run. And then all of a sudden, started breaking lower lows right around 830, uh, 8.45. You could see that right there in between. And then everyone should have been out at a buck fifty. But if you didn't get out, you got yourself in trouble. Listen, if it doesn't break higher highs, you got to be careful. But one thing I also want to point out that you should all remember: you had a gorgeous Fausto flag right there. You know, constant Fausto flags right there. That's what we always look at, and that's what we covered in in uh, lessons in the early uh, in the phase one and two. STRO is another one I want to keep an eye on. Not a lot of volume. Uh, only 178,000 pre-market. She had a good pre-market run from 20 to 24, but she's kind of holding pretty strong here. 
We see a little bit of a big order right there. Not a lot of iceberg orders out there on level three. You could see it there on the right, but she's on the B list. She's not in the A list. A lot of these stocks that I that were on the A list, I don't know what happened. They went to the B list. This was another one. I, I kind of like this stock. We traded us back in August. We went from two to seven dollars. It was one of those three hundred percent movers that we traded. She's starting to trend down. I fell out of love right right around eight thirty, but because she's got a lot of volume, she's up. She's still up decent. She's a cheap stock. I'm I'm gonna put it on there, but she is a category uh, two stock. Uh, three three. Don't don't like I always say. Don't let that cheap stock fool you. C I I C. Another one. We've been trading this stock. This stock has been a fun stock for us. This stock literally would start right around here and shot up. It just did not want to stop. It was a great short squeeze. And obviously, how do we know? Because she came right back down. But she's up pretty nicely today. Go back to your journals. This is a Category 4 stock. Look at the spread. Be very, very careful. A lot of small tier sizes. So as day traders, you know, unless you're one of my, you know, $1,000 day traders, do not trade the stock because this thing will definitely hurt you. But, you know, some of you need those... Uh, volatile ones and that's what you want to trade this one right here i'm going to probably just throw back on my a list it was on my b list i'm going to throw it back on my a list s t p k now um once again same thing we talked about this in lesson one phase one spread okay you got to be careful of the tier sizes this ain't your typical level one stock just because you think the spread's decent doesn't mean you're going to get it but she's been up pretty good um star peak energy energy stocks have been doing great lately i don't know why but they've all been doing pretty decent um nice little move nice little trend just you know i see a mark i see a trap on the offer it's got some iceberg orders right here sitting here on the offer on level three so uh let's see if those orders getting taken out actually um i'm gonna talking about time and sales uh, you know don't mind me getting on a tangent because i want to get ready but i want to leave with something off uh leave something off and this is our last stock so um, yesterday, a very good friend of mine, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I do a lot of charity work. Uh, and I'm not talking about like going out there, you know, certain donations, uh, but I do a lot of charity work for the NFL. I train a lot of NFL players because a lot of them, when they come out of, come out of the retirement or they make this money, they give it to these brokers and they lose it all. So I teach them finance. Uh, yesterday, I actually did, uh, I'm doing a new charity where I'm teaching prisoners that are trying to come out of jail, teaching them finance. Uh, so yesterday I did a webinar, and uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a series on it, and it's something that I really haven't been telling anybody too much about it. But um, but I, I feel like these people come out of prison, they need help, they need to do something, and um, you know, finance is really something pretty easy for them to get. So yesterday I was teaching a lesson on time and sales, and you know. And it always brings me back to the beginners, you know, and I talk to Josh about this all the time. And sometimes, and even, and you see this on YouTube, sometimes people don't realize that they assume that you, you know, this stuff already, and then you're trusting them because they think they know what they're talking about. So they obviously, you know, but they, they don't realize that we're, we're such like, you know, uh, beginners or even kindergartners when it comes to trading. And, um, it took me about, about 30 minutes to explain it. And let me tell you something. Once they knew what time and sales were, were, it all made perfect sense. They understand how stocks go up and go down in the market. So, um, but anyway, I'm going to do a series on it. And I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. But uh, but I hope these guys could get something and continue with their lives once they get out. Uh, school doesn't teach finance in the market. Norm, I don't know why they don't do that. I mean, I, you know, I don't want to get on a tangent, but my kid doesn't even know how to write a check. Okay. He doesn't even know how to fill out a W-4 you know, a W9, you know what I mean? To do his taxes, but they sure know how to teach, you know, they sure know how to teach him uh theater. You know what I mean? They don't teach finance at all. I don't understand why they don't do that. All right. Also idea for prison reform. Uh, there's a lot of very bright people in prison. Yeah, Mike, I know. And listen, we all, some people always make mistakes and um, it just happens. Maybe you got caught up too young, whatever it is, but you know what? Finance is, you know, we all know why we're all in the finance business. And they really want to learn and help out a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the market. Market opens up less than a little bit more than five minutes. Listen, if I don't see you in the afternoon meeting, it is Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Um, if you made your money this morning, you know, take the day off. And then we'll see you back on Monday. And then don't forget, next week, we have the Cyber Expo that's going on. We got three great new speakers. 
So let me just post it up here so you guys could see it on YouTube channel. Oops, didn't want to do that for everyone. But anyway, uh, right here so you guys could see it. So we got through, uh, you know, we got my friend. Uh, and by the way, somebody told me they want to learn about futures. Hubert Centers, I think, is one of the best futures instructors. He's going to be there. Stockswish is going to be there also. Very famous person. Show is on TV. And then myself. So we got three speakers. We try to keep it short because I know a lot of you guys are going to consider listening to four or five, ten, ten speakers. So we try to keep it short within three or four. And it is December, so we're trying to keep it short. We do this every month, so please don't forget to register. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Let's make some money. We'll stop commentating once the market opens up. All right? Good luck, everyone.